Welcome to the Creftessa, everyone. If you are new, my name is Vanessa. On today's DIY video, we're going to make these cute gingerbread characters that I made using Dollar Tree foam shape cutouts and these faux gingerbread cookies that I took the Dollar Tree wood cutouts and I made them to look like cookies. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook where I post super quick and easy DIYs and subscribe to my YouTube channel where I post new videos every week. Now let's get on with today's craft. So for our first project today, I'm going to take these foam sheets from the Dollar Tree. You can find them in the crafter square section. They come 12 in a pack. Um, it's a very uh, thin foam, but I'm going to um, use two to make a 3D figure and I'm going to um, stuff them with polyfill uh, to use them for my gingerbread decor this year. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take some white acrylic paint from the Dollar Tree and just give them a light brushing because I want their color to look like um, a lighter cookie dough or like if they were just baked and they still have some of the flour on them. So very lightly, I'm going to use very little paint and I'm going to brush a very quick coat over all of my pieces. And I'm only gonna do that on the front part of the gingerbread. I'm gonna leave the back side as is. This way, one, we save time, and two, it doesn't really matter what the back uh, looks like to me. So let's continue to, with this part. So now that the gingerbread are dry, it was pretty quick because I didn't use that much paint and I left the back as is. I'm going to take some pink blush paint. It's a regular acrylic paint that I got at Michael's and I'm going to start making the details on the legs and on the arms of uh, my gingerbread characters. Uh, using very little paint, I'm going to take a very fine uh, thin brush to make the scallops. So let's continue with this part. So now that I've finished with the scallops, I'm going to add some detail and I'm going to take this tulip puffy paint. Uh, you can find it at any craft store. I got mine at Michael's. Uh, and I'm going to make uh, more details. And this part, I want it to look like it's uh, the frosting or the icing that you use on sugar cookies or in gingerbread cookies. Uh, this paint is really easy to work with and I actually love the texture that it has. Uh, the tip on the bottle makes it perfect to make really fine details. So I'm going to do that all around uh, the gingerbread. Let's continue with this.
So now that most of the details on the body are dry, I'm going to take the puffy paint again and I'm going to start to make the eyes and the mouth of my gingerbread character. I leave this to the last part because to me this is like, for some reason, the hardest part. I want the eyes to be the same size and I want everything to be uh, symmetrical, uh, so I leave this to last. So let's continue with making uh, the face on our first gingerbread character. So now that the paint is dry, I'm going to take some Mod Podge and some pink, very fine uh, glitter, and I'm going to add some little pops of sparkle to my little gingerbread characters. Now, the only area that I'm going to add glitter to is the areas that I used acrylic paint on. So for this one that you see here in the little pink scalloped area, that's where I'm going to add um, the glitter. And I'm just going to use a very thin coat of the Mod Podge and then I'm going to cover it with the glitter. So let's continue with that part. So now that all of the details are completely dry, the glitter is dry, the puffy paint is dry, I'm going to begin uh, to stuff uh, these guys. And to do that, I'm going to take the two pieces, the back side and the front side that I decorated, and I'm going to attach them uh, with hot glue. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the hot glue and go around the edges as close as I can uh, on the back side to attach them together. And from there, I'm going to leave an opening on the sides and on the top in order to be able to fill them with the polyfill. Now, in order to work with this hot glue and the foam, you have to work pretty quick because it seems to dry very fast. So I'm doing it piece by piece or area by area in order for the hot glue to remain hot and uh, bond these two pieces together. So let's continue with this part. So now that I attach the pieces together, it's time to stuff it with the polyfill. And obviously you can buy polyfill at any craft store. I already had mine, so I didn't have to actually go buy it. So what I'm going to do is from the top, I left almost the entire top open uh, in order to be able to easily fill it. I'm just going to try and stuff it all the way down, all the way down to uh, his feet in order for everything to be filled and have that 3D look. In order to make it easier, I'm just going to take a paintbrush, the end side of a paintbrush, and uh, push it all the way down. So let's continue with this part. So now that he's completely filled, it's time to seal the edges. And as I glue the edges, I'm going to make sure that all the polyfill is inside. If you get a little strand, it's okay. You can just pull it off. So as I hot glue, I'm going to make sure that it is secure uh, pretty well and it won't split apart and that all of the polyfill is inside. So let's continue finishing this guy up.
So now that I stuffed all of these um, guys and girls, now it's time to add the embellishments. So I had a lot of embellishments. I obviously have a ton of craft supplies that I don't know what to do with. So for the ones that I want to look like girls, I'm going to add little flowers on little bows. I already had these. These are not from the Dollar Tree or any discount store. I don't even remember where I purchased these because I've had them forever. Uh, along with these embellishments, I'm going to use the Dollar Tree uh, sticker beads uh, to make little buttons and to add some details to the eyes. So let's finish up this part and these characters will be ready to display. So now I'm almost done finishing up these characters and I am loving the way they're looking. I use different embellishments for all of them, different types of designs, all using regular paint, some puffy paint and some beads from the Dollar Tree. And I think they look absolutely adorable. And now they are ready to be displayed. So for the next project, I'm going to take these wood cutouts. The snowflakes and the trees are from Dollar Tree and the star is from Michaels. And I'm going to take this folk art acrylic paint in a conch shell color. And I'm going to give them two coats of this color because I want them to look like uh, their pink gingerbread cookies. So let's continue with painting these pieces. So I painted some of the pieces in the pink color and I also painted some in a coffee latte color from Folk Art. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take the Tulip Puffy Paint, also available at Michael's or at any craft store, and I'm going to make the designs on these pieces to make it look like it's the icing uh, that is used to decorate gingerbread cookies. Uh, and the fact that the point on the Tulip Puffy Paint bottle is so fine it makes it very easy to uh, decorate and I love the way that it looks and it gives the details. So for the snowflakes, I'm just going to go around the edges of the snowflakes and use some puffy paint to highlight uh, the design. So let's continue finishing off um, our faux gingerbread cookies.
So now I'm almost done finishing uh, the details on all these cookies. This is quite a simple project with some little wood cutouts, some paint and some puffy paint. You could have uh, faux gingerbread cookies in no time. And now these guys will soon be ready to display. So I really love the way that my gingerbread characters and my faux gingerbread cookies turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell to get notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching everyone. See you all on my next DIY.